you know, when your age starts with a seven, it's, it's, uh, and you've served 21 years, uh, that's a pretty good run. You may be seated. And that doesn't cover even half of Gregory Todd's law career, having spent 23 years as an attorney beforehand. It was a life Todd dreamed of. My best friend in high school's father was a lawyer, a very prominent lawyer, Jack Dietrich, and I uh, really just wanted uh, wanted to be like him. Todd was appointed by Governor Mark Rassico in 2000. He knew it would be an entirely new challenge from day one. First day I walked onto the bench, it was a very simple youth court arraignment, and, uh, and I froze. The view from that, from the bench, uh, was entirely different with everybody waiting for me to say something. But uh, fortunately, the prosecutor said, Judge, we're here for this, and uh, broke the ice. Todd took command from there. By the mid-2000s, it seemed he presided over every high-profile case in the district. In 2005, his courtroom was in the National Court TV spotlight when Laurel resident Sabine Bieber was charged with negligent homicide of a one-year-old. We had to make sure that the cameras did not show the faces of the jurors, and we had to make sure that people were not grandstanding for the cameras. And uh, But, you know, I figured it was an open courtroom and people could do that if, if they were willing to play by our rules, and they were. Just a year later, Todd faced a very different request, a one-on-one -on -one meeting with convicted murderer David Dawson, who was asking to end his appeal process and for Todd to set his execution date. Dawson tested at an IQ of 104 when he was first imprisoned. When he wanted to give up his, uh, his appeal rights, he, his IQ was 141. And he said, I'm not crazy. This has been my life. I've been 23 hours a day for over 20 years in a 12 by 12 cell, and I, I, I can't put up with that. Dawson died by lethal injection on August 11, 2006. He remains the last person to be executed by the state of Montana. Now it's my chance to talk. Todd told us he does not believe the death penalty to be a criminal deterrent. So five years later, he levied what he considers to be his most harsh sentence to Lucian Bonk after the 58-year-old was convicted of raping a seven-year-old girl. Todd's ruling? Six life sentences without parole, plus 100 years. The psychosexual report for Lucian Bonk found that he was a sociopath, and it wasn't even close. He was well over the level. I had no doubts that if he ever got out, he'd keep doing the same thing. And uh, some people might say that was overkill on that uh, sentence, but I, I thought it also sent a message. It seemed like at the time you had a great deal of clarity about that. Yes, yeah, and I don't regret that a bit. Shortly after that, Todd started what he calls the greatest work of his career, presiding over the Family Recovery Treatment Court, which tries to reunite parents battling addiction with their children. Did Family Treatment Court change the way you perceive the world around us? Yes, it did, because I, I've come to believe that it's, it's worth the time and the effort for, for us as a state, as a society, to, uh, to make that effort. Because if we don't, we'll, we'll just continue to spawn generation after generation with, with those continuing problems. And we need to intervene and, and, and try to help. Todd's last day in drug court was Thursday, where longtime participants flipped the script and sentenced him as a thanks for his years of help. While his judicial career may be at an end, his service to law isn't. Todd says he's going to try mediation, mainly because... I'm not a mechanic or a woodworker, so um, I need to do something. A 1977 graduate of the University of Montana Law School, Todd will also get to a few more Grizz football games. But should you plan to see him in Texas for Montana State's national championship game appearance on January 8th? No, but uh, good luck to the cats. Thank you very much, Judge. For everything. Casey Conlon, MTN News.